Today we'll talk about the media and the information it conveys. The term media covers all types of mass communication, including the internet, broadcasting and publishing. It encompasses everything from the news and advertising to educational content, entertainment and much more. These are just some examples. There are many types of content and it's important to know how they differ. It can help us understand the goals that content creators have. We need that to be able to judge the credibility of the information they produce or share. First, it's important to understand the difference between facts and opinions. An opinion is a belief or a point of view. Evidence can support an opinion, but an opinion is never really true or false. For example, it is my opinion that Spain is the best country for a vacation. A statement of fact is a claim that can be proven true or false. You can demonstrate its truth or falsehood to someone with evidence. For example, while holiday destinations are a matter of preference, it is true that the average temperature in Spain in July 2020 was 26 degrees, regardless of whether you like such a climate or not. It can be verified by looking up statistics about the average temperature in Spain by month. Remember, statements of fact can also be false. For example, I could say that the population of Lithuania is 1 billion with a lot of conviction in my voice. But we can all very easily check that it's actually nowhere near a billion. There are a lot of ways content creators can use facts and opinions for different purposes. For example, to document such as publishing a transcript of a meeting, to inform as in a news article that reports on an event, to persuade, like an advertisement that wants to sell you something, opinion column that aims at changing or strengthening a belief, or propaganda that is trying to provoke you to fight for or against something. Another purpose for creating content is to entertain, like a movie or a meme. Let's talk about some of these categories in more depth. The first category, to document, includes raw information like statistical data, security camera footage and transcripts or full video recordings of parliamentary sessions. This type of information is often used as an ingredient to create other types of content where a human, like a journalist, selects what to include and what not to include from this raw data. The second category, to inform, includes a lot of journalism. For example, a news reporter selects what events or conflicts to write about, but they try to base this account on facts. A news story can include the opinions of others. For example, a reporter might write, this is a terrible policy, John Smith said. John Smith is expressing an opinion, but it's a fact that he made that statement. So a news article reporting Smith's statement is still just reporting the facts. A good news reporter tries to make sure that the opinions of all the relevant parties are included, clearly indicates who holds this opinion and leaves their own out of the article. However, there are genres of journalism in which journalists share their beliefs too, like opinion columns. In this case, the purpose is to persuade. If a journalist writes an opinion article or if a media outlet publishes an opinion article by someone else, it should be clearly labelled as an opinion. There are other types of content that share the purpose of persuading us, such as ads, content from public relations specialists and propaganda. This content can include true factual statements, but they aren't there just to inform you. They are there to support an opinion and can also be used selectively by purposefully leaving out other facts. Some media outlets don't do a very good job of distinguishing news from opinion. And the savvy news consumer needs to understand what they are reading in order to evaluate the content. However, opinions and attempts at persuasion are not inherently bad. Advertisements can be made to encourage us to do something good, like quit smoking. Opinion articles can help us test our own points of view and think about different ways of looking at an issue. The important thing is that we learn to distinguish opinion from news. Recognizing persuasion for what it is helps us avoid being manipulated.